hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my delicious of father rice and beans jello rice recipe you will love to try it it came out so delicious so so delicious why haven't i showed you guys this recipe long time before now look at that look at that delicious of father rice and beans jellof you will love to try it guys come on guys let's get right into this video as i show you healthy delicious of father rice and beans recipe let's get right into the video yeah, my beans has been nicely washed we're going to be using these beans just to make sure we have a healthy native of father rice done i've gone ahead to clean all my peppers all the peppers you can think of i have tatashi here which is red bell pepper i have red bell pepper it's down i'm not going to be opening up i have some green bell peppers and yeah we have some scotch bonnet ginger garlic and all of those good stuffs in there okay i have some dried peppers here which is red um chili dried pepper everything has been nicely washed i'm going to clean this and blend all of this together i'm using this whole lot for two recipes okay i'm making one recipe with some of them and i'm making a father native jollof rice with all of these beauties so i have red onion and i have some yellow onion you need quite number of onion for this very recipe and i have two mackerel fishes which i'm going to grill them before i use them okay all right so let me show you what i have in the pot so i have boiling water here this was the same place i parboiled the beans i'm just going to add it in yeah i'll go in with a little bit of salt and i'll go in with some onions so that it will cook nicely you want it very tender and delicious here is the chief of the occasion of father rice father rice is always very awesome very healthy very delicious you will want to try this and it's very expensive it's an expensive rice different from other rice okay so i'm going to go ahead and wash this thoroughly and then we'll get it to the pot for parboiling so guys i will always encourage everyone to wash your food properly rice beans vegetables protein whatever you are eating because you have to guide your food intake all of this food has the way it is being processed and trust me there are things you don't want to get into your system so it is always advisable to wash your rice nicely wash until the water is clear and pick up whatever you need to pick out of the rice or whatever you are you know washing at the time for me i like to go parboiling my rice but before i parboil my rice trust me most of the time i like to wash first this way you can get rid of this kind of water you don't want to put this in your system or let your children or husband or friends and family eat this kind of food you don't want them to eat anything like this right yes it is always advisable to wash nicely what do you like to wash your rice with i like to get in with salt and then wash 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 for fried rice i just see people cooking fried rice directly i see people cooking white rice here just directly they don't even wash it they just put it in the crawl pot add water and rice is ready to eat i don't cook my rice that way i wash my rice before i parboil I just want to show you this thing one more boil for seven seven minutes it does not take anything away from you yes take out that time and cook good food healthy food I'm 
just wash until your water is clear. And then parboil so you can get rid of all of those starch and some kind of preservative that was used during preserving the rice. Okay? All of these things are very important. This was the way I was taught. And that's why I am still going about my food some certain way. Some people like it fast, fast, fast. You know, we are in the microwave generation. We are in the microwave generation. Everybody just wants to get out of the kitchen in a second. But trust me, if we go about food the way our mothers went about it, we are going to live longer. Trust me on that. Because our parents lived gracefully. They aged gracefully. And I want to age gracefully. Trust me. So we're going to take this to the pot and pour it in. Go in with some salt. Add your rice. We are only going to parboil this rice for seven minutes and that will be it. Seven minutes later, this is it. I'm going to drain this out and set it aside. That's all you need to do. See how clean the water is. And you see how clean. Not too much starch, but I'm going to drain this out and set the rice aside. So I'm going to start blending all of these stuffs. I've gone ahead to chop all of this. Okay. Blend them bit by bit until I'm done. You just want to give it a rough blend. This is Ayamashi sauce. crush everything to be my last blend this is how you want your ayamashi blend to look like okay it doesn't have to be smooth you just need it chopped crushed whatever you want to call it but this is how your blend should look like for your ayamashi sauce okay so I'm going to be showing you this delicious recipe. The same way you make ayamashi sauce is the same way you're going to make this sauce and pour in your ofada rice in it, put your fish, put whatever protein of your choice and enjoy ofada rice, okay? Stay tuned. Our mackerel fish is grilling, so we're going to start making our sauce right away. So I'm using carotino oil. A lot of people used to ask me which type of oil I use for my food recipe. This is one of my oil, okay? And it's a very good oil. Since I've been using this oil, I mean, it has a lovely taste and very fantastic. It's not oil you're going to be hearing some bad taste from. It brings out a deliciousness from my food every time I use this oil. So we are using this oil for this Ayamashi Jello Fry Sauce. It's a very beautiful oil. This is about four spoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, all you want to do is to add some onion and let those onion fry completely until they are brown. So you're gonna cover this. Please, when you're covering, cover with a lid that has an opening so the smoke can be going out so it doesn't choke you or anyone around you. That's why you need a lid that has this opening, okay? Allow this to blanch you're going to allow the oil to blanch completely so guys here is what i'm saying i'm going to just remove all of this 
you can remove it you can leave it it doesn't matter it's just a brown onion right but I'm going to go ahead and remove all this brown onion trust me if, if you want to enjoy ayamashi sauce just go ahead and fry your onion and bring it out it will infuse a very delicious taste into your ayamashi sauce so here we have sliced onion and we have iru iru is locust beans and it's always very fantastic in your delicious native recipes or any other kind of native rice or native beans you want to make a for iru and all of those good stuffs iru will make it come out very delicious and fantastic and like i said we need enough onion in this recipe let's get started so first you want to go in with your iru and your onion and allow it to steam for just 60 seconds as you can see our onion and the iru has caramelized they've all gotten to know each other and the aroma here is fantastic guys trust me go ahead and try this recipe out you will love it so next thing we are doing we are adding our crayfish and then we'll allow it to continue to steam for just about 10 seconds so mix everything in you can see how everything is coming everything is everything is coming nicely guys look at that i feel like eating these onions right away <laughs> so i'm going to go in with our blend add it in like so allow it to steam add it in stir it all together mm, this is delicious guys mm. i'll close it for a second so guys our macro fish is nice and ready i'm going to shred them into the sizes of my choice so we can add it in I'm going to go in with a little bit of ginger powder, garlic powder, onion powder, some cloves, some paprika, a little bit of pink salt. I'm going to add a little bit of maggi. Give it a mix. And you need to smell what I smell here. It smells so fantastic here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. So I went in with all of this just for flavor sake. Let's have a taste, guys. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. It tastes so good. It tastes so fantastic. We're gonna add our rice in like so. So mix everything in. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. It's already smelling appetizing. Oh my goodness. Guys, try this. Ayamashi jollof recipe. Right? This is good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. We're going to add our beans right now. Add your beans in. Back in the days, Ayamashi is usually enjoyed with beans. Go and find out. It's usually enjoyed with beans. Trust me. Oh my goodness. I feel so good with this recipe. This is a beautiful recipe. Your children will love this recipe. Your husband will love because this is healthy. Everything here is very, very healthy. So we're going to close it up. Add a little bit of water because we don't want it soggy. You want ayamashi like this. This is how ayamashi should be. That's why you want to parboil your rice. That's why you want your rice to steam for a little bit. That way you're just going to mix it into the stew. And here we have a fantastic, delicious ayamashi native jello fries and beans okay everything i did here was at the comfort of my home so i'm going to encourage women 
no matter how tight your schedules are just try to get your stuffs in bulk and save it so that you can always you know make something for your family no matter how tight your schedules are the moment you come in you can just quickly put something together without going to the store for me sometimes this is how it works I didn't have to go to the store because I checked my freezer I have a couple of things and I just, I just thought of what to do immediately I said okay let me make this our father jello fries recipe I don't think I've shown you guys this but yeah this is a father jello fries recipe I've done this several times you know just make some jello fries recipes behind the scene but today I just want to show you all this is a very good meal idea and it's a healthy rice recipe so go ahead and look for a father rice recipe I buy my fish in, in cartons and I store it in my freezer. I buy my chicken in cartons and I store it in the freezer. So if you have a freezer and you can do this if you have a freezer. And trust me, it's more economical for you. Some people think it's more expensive. No. If you have a freezer, why not? Buy your things in, in bulk. Save up for it. I used to save up for this just to make life a little easier for me life itself is not easy but sometimes we just have to find a way to make it easy for ourselves you know take all the bones out especially because of children and even for your bone you don't want to swallow bone just go ahead and take off all the bones I like mackerel fish, but it's funny. My mother never used to like mackerel fish. She never cooked with mackerel fish one day in our home. <laughs> but I don't know, for some reason, I grew up, started making my own food, and I love mackerel. So I'm going to add this fish into the pot. All of this will infuse deliciousness into this rice. I'm going to add in some broth. I'm going to add half stick of butter. Butter helps your jollof rice or whatever jollof recipe you're making. It helps your rice stand out. You see your rice standing single, single. Your rice is going to come out fluffy and it's going to infuse deliciousness into your rice. Okay, so I'm going to cover this all. And then we'll allow it to all come together. Let me cover it up. Let's check our rice, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. This is your father. The love rice recipe. Wow. Look at that. Very delicious. I hope you will try this butcher steam. Be loving, be kind, be merciful. God loves the merciful heart. We are going to have a taste right away. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Which is is hungry. Mmm. Guys. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. 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 Man, this is good. This is good, guys. This is good. It's hot, but oh my goodness, this is good. Mm. Try this recipe, guys. You will love it. Mm. 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 
father rice is good man anything of father is good guys trust me look at time to eat time to eat is the best time for me <laughs> oh yeah look at that deliciousness look at that guys from me to you here enjoy it <laughs> enjoy it guys enjoy it this is how I have served it. Mm-hmm. Okay.